welcome back to my channel. Today I will be reviewing INLP's, um, these are just six of their metallic flaky polishes. Um, anyway, so I have, I'm going to do swatches and reviews of these for you today and let's get started. So first up from this series we have Fame and this is a gold micro flaky. It kind of leans a little bit silver but it is definitely more of the light silver gold. Here is one coat of Fame. I'm also going to be switching up how I do swatches. I will only be swatching two fingers for you guys. I feel like I can get the information that you need in to my swatch video with just two fingers but the photos will be of all four fingers so you don't need to worry about that. But this is Fame and the first coat comes on pretty evenly. Um, you do have to be careful not to put too much on it because it will just take away those micro flakies that are in there. Um, but it goes on pretty evenly, pretty smoothly. This is a micro flaky and so it will take, those will stick to your skin more than other polishes. So there is one coat of Fame and I can still see my nail line a little bit so I will be doing a second. Here is two coats. Please excuse my dry cuticles and the cut on my finger. It is very dry where I am right now, being winter. And um, I cut myself making a blanket yesterday. So, But here is two coats. It does completely cover in two coats. Um, for me anyways, depending on your application, you might need more than two. Um, but the micro flakies in this is super shiny and it covers completely and it hides your nail line extremely well. Again, like I said, this is going to stick to your skin. So I would probably put a peel off, peel off base coat on underneath or um, just be prepared to fight those micro flakies off of your cuticles when you are ready to remove your polish. But there is two coats of Fame. Next, we have First Class, and this is a silver micro flaky with some holographic glitter spread in there as well. Here is one coat of First Class. It is pretty sheer on that first coat. I got a little bit heavy right down here in the middle. Um, so we'll need a second. But the formula is great. The micro glitters are very smooth to put on. You don't really have to fight them. They come out of the bottle. It's not, it's not a fight on getting the glitters out of the bottle, which is great. So there is one coat of first class. Here is two coats. And this is more of like a deep gray metallic. It kind of actually reminds me of like a mirror if you're looking into a mirror. Um, it's that same type of color. Um, but it does get completely opaque in two coats. It really likes to stick to itself and the micro flakies really like to stick together. I would recommend a top coat on all of these just because of that shredded micro glitter. You will, they will be a little bit rough. But all of my pictures are without top coat. So here is two coats of first class. This is clockwork and it is more of a coppery bronzy um, gold color but I definitely say it leans more towards the copper side of tones. It reminds me more of like a penny. Here is one coat of clockwork. Clockwork is pretty sheer on this first coat um, but I have a feeling that it'll stick really well to itself but it is very holographic. I feel like there's more holographic in here than there are um, micro flakies. So we have that going for us. And I did forget to apologize at the beginning of this video. Um, during all these swatches, if you see shredded micro glitter on my skin, um, I did warn you in the beginning that they would be extremely hard to get off your skin. They'd like to stick to it. So I'm going to apologize for that now. But there is one coat of clockwork, and we will be doing a second. 
So here is two coats of clockwork. And it does completely become opaque in two coats. Juliet is a rose gold micro flaky. Here is one coat of Juliet. Um, it's still pretty sheer on this first coat, so I will be doing a second. Um, like I said, there's lots of holographic, and this one has a lot more shredded micro glitter in it than Clockwork did. And these are pretty similar in color. This one just leans more pink. The other one leans more copper. I will be doing a picture of a side-by-side -side of the two of them. Um, I'll be doing every other finger, Clockwork, and then Juliet. Um, but there is one coat, and we are going to let this dry and come back for a second. Here is two coats. And it does become opaque in two coats. So that is two coats of Juliet. This is Rolling Hills, and this is more of a turquoisey blue green micro flaky with some um I feel like there's some sh scattered holographic in this one as well here is one coat of rolling hills and this one you can definitely see that jelly base in here with all those holographic glitters um in it and this one is pretty sheer on that first coat so we will need a second but it lays pretty evenly. All these have about the same formula. They're not too thick, not too thin, and you will want to put a top coat on all of these. So there is one coat of Rolling Hills. Here is two coats. It builds up really nicely on itself on the second coat, and I am going to say it's completely opaque in two coats. Depending on your application, you might need three. I just need two, and it looks, like I said, it, again, it's extremely sparkly. It's extremely glittery, um, so it is hard to see your nail line anyways um, because it's very blindingly distracting, which is a good thing. So here is two coats of Rolling Hills. This one is XO and it is a deep purple micro flaky with some micro glitters in there as well. Here is one coat of XO. This is a purple jelly base and honestly the color just reminds me of grape jelly, grape jam. Um, but it has some holographic glitter in there and then a whole bunch of silver micro flakies. Um, it is sheer on this first coat still, and so we will be needing a second, but it covers really evenly and really smooth. So there is one coat of XO. Here is two coats. It builds up really nicely on this second coat, but I still 
can kind of see my nail line with it, so I will probably be doing a third. But the micro flakies really like to stick to each other on this one. You know, after further inspection, I don't think I will be doing a third. Two coats is good for me. Um, so here is two coats of XO. Hey guys, so I got these for the purpose of, I feel like they're good transition colors to wear after the holidays till spring. If you just like something simple and you just want a one coater but something elegant as well. Um, but my favorite by far would be Juliet. This is a beautiful rose gold micro flaky. So I feel like it is in more of a rose goldy base and then it has the gold flakies in it. Absolutely love this. It is gorgeous in the sunlight. I wore it to Hawaii and my fingers were stunning. It was beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, one of them, I will say that these two are extremely similar, Clockwork and Juliet, which online I felt like they looked a little bit different. Um, maybe two you can see the difference. This one is more of a gold and this one's more of a pink, but this is like more of a copper penny color. But do you need both? Probably not. So, just depending on which one was your favorite, you can pick whichever one out of these that you would like. Juliet's over here. And this is Juliet and this is Clockwork. So you guys can pick your favorite. Um, but Juliet was by far my favorite. It's kind of that rose goldy, beautiful color that I just love. And I love INLP nail polish. I feel like they're a very good brand. They are an indie brand, so they're a little bit more expensive. And they are based out of Las Vegas, Nevada, where the sun is always shining. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, leave a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite polish was. Be sure and give this video a thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram, and we'll catch you guys later. Bye.